shaking or vibrations or anything else. It keeps the picture nice and steady as you're holding the camera. That's what a gimbal does. It figures all the seagulls are around Walmart. I haven't been to this Walmart since... Wow. I would go back to probably October. I'd say October of 2022. It's just out of my oh, way and there are... Oops. But we're still in for another winter storm. A little early for flat. Those cards. Because there's no. Nope. Hmm. The problem is finding a card that doesn't swing. down that way and I think all the bikes are down this way. Let's check out Legos. Look how expensive Legos are. Whoa! When I was a kid, I loved Legos. I still love Legos, but I mean, look at the prices of them, and that's just for this. I mean, Which is really sad on the prices because, you know, poverty people, poor people, however you want to call them, they, the kids love Legos, but how can the parents afford the stuff? I mean, here we have an airplane for $100. I mean, it's outrageous what they charge. And the sad thing is, is that this plastic used for Legos probably cost the company, I mean, this entire box right here for 60 bucks, probably cost the company maybe $2, probably $2 to make. The packaging is probably more than the plastic inside the box. <laughs> That's really sad. Today, I am looking for a bike tire slash tire tube, and I think I found one. Huh. It's much better than the tire I currently have. The price isn't too bad either. Oh, the camping gear and sporting gear. 
Oh, gonna need that. How much is box spray? Uh, still about the same price. This bug spray has not changed in price at Walmart in a long time. Of course, at $3.97, I imagine as summertime comes, it'll probably go up to like $5.97. But I'm going to buy a can, just in case. Warm weather brings out the ticks. I'm talking the actual bug, not people. I don't know why I'm going this way. I just feel like it. <laughs> nice to see they still make the camping stoves. We had one like this out west. Very similar. Doesn't say how much it is. Hmm, maybe about a hundred dollars. That was a long time ago. My sleeping bag weighed a ton when we camped out west. Nowadays they have this super light stuff for only like $20. <laughs> $20. I never understood why people have to have an igloo cooler or a Yeti cooler. Paint. I mean, a cooler is a cooler. I'm thinking this year, if I repaint my front porch, and I'm definitely going to have to repaint my back porch, I'm going to use an oil-based paint because the winter time is just horrible on the wood. Plus oil-based paints will really keep the bugs out of the wood. It takes longer to dry, but it's not like I got a ton of people going in and out of my house. <laughs> but the paint prices here aren't too bad. I mean, $21 for a can of paint. That's Twenty-five, twenty-seven. This is something like what I would use. High endurance paint, which is pricey, but it's worth it. <laughs> High endurance plus exterior paint primer. 100% acrylic. But, but that's the type of paint I would use on my porch. Definitely not the color white. A nice gray is what I'm looking at. I like the color gray. I also like green, purple, and pink. That doesn't mean I'm one of those LGBT morons. How much TV? Look at the size of that TV. If I had a TV like this, I would never leave my house. Honestly, I would never leave it. <laughs> God. I gotta use wide field view to get this whole thing on here. It doesn't say how big the screen is. Uh, 75 inch. That's ridiculous. This is a nice size TV. A 58 inch. Ooh, that's the one. Fifty 
four dollars. That's a nice pole right there. That's a professional pole. Uh oh. My bad. Oh boy, now I did it. That's a nice fishing rod. Zubco. That would probably hold.